I recently watched Simply Now Logical and Ellen Ish do a Manny Swap collab and it looked really fun. So today, me and Jessie from Nailed It NZ will be recreating each other's tutorials. Jessie has so many creative tutorials ranging from easy level to super amazing hand painted character nails. I'll be doing her floral anchor design. Over on Jessie's channel, she'll be doing my watermelon nail design, so at the end of this video, just click the info card in the top right for her video. To begin, I'll be applying all the base colors. I'm using an eggplant purple on my thumb, a green on my pinky, nude on my middle nail, and a very dark brown on the remaining two. Starting on the new nail, I'll be doing an orange and purple flower print. I'm using a nail art brush and an orange polish to add flower blobs over the nail. Then, I swirled in a lighter orangey shade to give the look of petals. Next, I'm adding in the purple flowers, but this time using the polish brush to add them in. Again, I used a medium shade of purple to add some petal swirls. I find it's easier to swirl the highlight color in when the color of the flower is still a little wet. This technique is also a super easy way to get the look of a complicated flower without the work, and it's perfect for beginners. Now I'm using the same green as I did for the pinky and just adding in some leaves. Moving on to the anchor nail, I added a large tan dot at the top of my nail and painted a line down the middle of my nail with two curves on either side. I also left a little bit of the middle line sticking out at the bottom and sharpened it into a point. As you can see, it doesn't have to be perfect, you can always touch up the shape later with the base color. Next I added two triangles for the flukes on the anchor or the little hook parts on the side. Jessie cleaned up her anchor after she applied the floral print, but my anchor was needing some defining so I chose to touch up as I went. Now we can add the floral. Just like before, I added in the colors, then swirled in a lighter shade for more detail and added some leaves. Finish the anchor nail off with a dot of the dark brown polish in the center of the bigger dot at the top for the ring. Now all you have to do is apply top coat and add some rectangular studs. Jessie's studs were gold, but for some reason I only had silver. And that's it! Make sure you go check out Jessie's channel and video by clicking the info card on the top right. And if you decide to give this look a try, make sure to tag Jessie and me so that we can see it.